it's Miss Emily here from Union Public Library. Welcome to this week's craft tutorial. This week we'll be making rainbow sprinkle slime. You'll need some glue. We're using clear glue, an activator. We're using liquid starch, and of course, some sprinkles. Let's get started. Alrighty, you'll want to begin by, of course, removing the lid from your container of glue. And we'll get started by adding some of our activator to our glue. So you can use contact solution if you want, borax if you feel comfortable using it. I find I had the best results with liquid starch, um, which is used for ironing, I think, and some other laundry related stuff but we're gonna use it for slime today. All right, so I'm not gonna dump the whole thing in at once. I'm just gonna start with about half of this. It's about half of this cupful. And then you wanna take your spoon and begin to stir. And as you stir, notice how the consistency of the slime, the glue, changes into slime. All right, we already see it getting a little thick. Awesome. And I'm going to add the rest. So if you notice that your slime is still a little too runny and watery for your liking, you could add some baking soda, which we've included in the kit. And I've put some in and now my slime is nice and ooh, <laughs> nice and thick. That's the consistency I like. And I think it feels awesome. <laughs> Makes funny sounds. And this is great, but we're gonna make the slime even better because it's time to add our sprinkles. Now, like with other ingredients when you make slime, you don't want to um, dump in all the sprinkles at once. You want to add them a little bit at a time. And we're going to start with probably just a spoonful. Play it safe. So that's it. And we're going to just work the sprinkles into the slime with our hands. I'm doing this inside of the container um, just to kind of contain the mess. Alrighty. Oh, it's coming together so nicely. Now, you might also notice that the food dye from the sprinkles kind of leaks into the um, into the slime a little bit. It's not a really huge deal. It just makes it that, that, that makes the slime that much more colorful. All right, let's add a little bit more sprinkles. Let's add some more sprinkles. And again, just work the sprinkles into the slime. This is what it looks like so far. All right, so take your time. There's no rush. And add the sprinkles in one spoonful at a time until your slime is sprinkly enough to your liking. I think one of the things I like about the um, food dye from the sprinkles kind of leaking into the slime is that it, it gives a kind of like a tie dye effect, which I think is really, really cool. Alrighty, so I've got my slime. I've mixed in probably about three or four spoonfuls of sprinkles and kneaded it into the slime. And this is what it looks like. So when you play with it, make sure you are playing in an area of your home that's easy to clean because it is a little messy. The sprinkles might fall out as you're playing with the slime. That's okay. And you can keep it in the container and store it in the fridge if your grown up says that's okay. And um, it'll probably keep for a few weeks. And then you can take it out and play with it whenever you want. 
And I should have said this at the start of the video, but just a friendly re reminder that when you're making slime and playing with slime, to wash your hands at the start because any dirt or other yucky stuff on your hands is gonna transfer to the slime. So you wanna make sure your hands are nice and clean. I hope you enjoyed this week's tutorial and we'll see you again next time. Happy sliming!